Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me and we made it. Um, yeah, this is, this is, we're getting toward the end here. Yeah. Um, this one might surprise you guys, so if you want to hear our thoughts on 2018's House Shark, stick around. Well, gee, why do you hate this movie? Actually, I don't. Really? I, what? I know, right? You You're, hate fun. I hate fun. I do hate... <laughs> I don't hate fun, but I do hate fun. No, actually, yeah, I thought going into this movie, much like the boy, I wasn't going to enjoy this. And I've, I, I do have some issues with it. This is not a perfect film. I think people like you and other people like you would enjoy this movie better than I did. But with that all said, I, there's a lot about this movie that I like. I really like the filmmakers. I think they, they you can see where it works. Mm -hmm, there's yeah. some things that don't work in this movie, but there's a lot of things, surprisingly, there's a lot of things that works. One of the things that works really well is when it's funny, it's funny. There's there are some, some scenes in this movie that legitimately made me laugh. Yeah, there's some legitimately really good gags in the movie. Yeah, um, there's also really good uh, effects. Now, they're, they're poor people's effects, but just because they're poor people's effects, doesn't mean they're really good there's one scene early on in the movie where we have a toilet and the sharks in the toilet and we get this really bloody gory scene and for any of you dudes there's a woman that gets naked to sit on the toilet because that's what all of us chicks do when we go sit on the toilet it's clearly the according to horror movies yeah yeah and so you know there's that um i also really like the shark costume and this is a practical shark costume but i actually whoever made it actually you could tell put a lot of time and effort into it and I prefer it because I'm always complaining over CGI and this looks really good. It's something like yeah technically. It's silly. It looks silly but it good only, silly. It looks better than like anything in like Shark Exorcist or something. It, and I, I actually think there's a lot of work and creativity and I, it actually looks really good. Now it's it's you know you can clearly tell it's just a shark costume but that's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. it, the movie's called House Shark People. It's basically a parody movie. Basically it's kind of like Repossessed, but a little, there are some issues with this. Um, I, this is a movie, I've seen it once, I probably won't see it again, but I can see some people who have a way to high tolerance for these kind of movies enjoy this movie and get a couple of repeat watchings out of it. Totally. My biggest con is it. it's an hour and 59 minutes. It, it runs a little long. I kind of wish, I think the movie would have worked better on a whole if they had cut it down maybe 20, 25 There's minutes. There's like multiple extended montage sequences that kind of drive and some of them go Some on. of them are real funny. Some of them are funny initially, but they kind of drag on too long. Like there's them put nailing doors, uh, wood on the house that goes on for like it's a minute. It's funny, but There's they an underwater fight scene. There's That's a funny. There's a training montage. All this works fine, but some of them Went go on long. just a little bit too long to where you're kind of sick of the joke. Yeah, but but the direct, and you can tell every, well, another big positive I have is you can tell everybody on this is having a really good totally. time. Totally, like actually all the actors are actually pretty damn good. Yes. Like they're they're nothing amazing but they're you can tell they're having fun and are really enjoying their roles. I think they're pretty good for a low budget movie. I think they're pretty good. I didn't I've seen I've seen bigger budgeted with what better well known actors not give good as a, a good of performances some of these guys in this movie. Totally, I actually yeah. really enjoyed their performances. My bit my really the only criticism I have is I just wish they would have trimmed the fat off of this one. I think it would have worked better. Basically what I kind of get the feeling is they threw everything they thought could possibly get a smirk at the wall and a lot of times they'll hit and get you a laugh but then there's about 10 jokes that are kind of fall flat mm -hmm. and I wish that that's my only really big con with this but I'm not sorry I saw this it wasn't like another movie that from Shark Week that I had to sit through I still where don't I was know just why you hated the, Bait so much I didn't I'm sorry guys I know a lot of people like Bait I, I fucking hated Bait I fucking hated it I just, oh, I hated it. I hate you. Uh, but anyway, uh, no, 
but actually, yeah, I would think, I, when I'm going into this, I thought House Shark would be the big stinker, and it's not a perfect movie. You've got to go, you got to go in knowing that this is very tongue-in-cheek, that they know that this is a, it's called House Shark, people. You know what you're getting into. But just because it's a silly movie, the people behind it, I get there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of enjoyment, a lot of creativity, and they were, and I love people who work with what they have, because I think sometimes they work better than the movies that have a lot of million dollars to play around mm -hmm. with. I really do. This was a passion project. Uh, this director, all, he was he a director on it or was he just a producer? He was a producer like this. On him, Night and Something Strange. Him and most of the cast were related to Night and Something Strange. This isn't a full on gross out movie like that was, but a lot of the effects a are very, a lot of the effects are very similar to Night and Something Strange. So if you like that kind of style, style of movie, uh, you might like this. And I'll also say, because like I said, I thought I, I'd be lucky to get one kind of half smirk. It legitimately had me laughing. The humor's a little, you know, not highbrow humor by any means, but it's still funny. There, and there's like a good five jokes that I legitimately say are really goddamn good and clever and funny. The thing that I thought was the most funny was the Indian, um... Oh, the fucking Darth, Darth yeah. Squanto. Yeah. The Native American Darth Vader knockoff. I didn't understand the Star Wars reference, but the other part of it was funny. That, yeah, that, that, that probably had my second favorite joke of the whole movie where he's just going on. M many years ago, my people hunted the sharks on the prairies, much like the buff much like the dolphin before them. <laughs> And that was a really good bit. They finally found that they could be the top dog in the ocean, and they stayed. <laughs> and I like the pause in that. Yeah, no, there's some. Yeah, no, that that's probably my second favorite bit in the movie. My favorite bit, I won't say, but it's at towards the end of the movie where they just. I, I won't even say, but it's real. I really like that bit. Yeah. There's one really good bit towards the end of the movie. Yeah, so you might... Do you have anything else to say? Not about really. This is just a... Salt. If you like, like, your goofy parody movies, like, especially... You know what this reminds me of? This feels kind of like a... Like, the first scary movie a little bit. A little like bit. Like a solid parody movie. A kind poor of, man's scary this, movie. This one's kind of making fun of, instead of, like, horror tropes, this one's kind of making fun of, um... Creature like, features. Uh, creature features and just the mass flood of shark movies that we get every year that I can kind of feel that this is kind of making fun of all of that which I appreciate it's, and it works really well for what it is it is a bit too long yeah I feel. that's my only you problem could I would say you could probably cut about 20 minutes of the movie and just making some scenes shorter and it would work a lot better and some of the jokes would land even harder yeah but with that I give this I give this a B plus yeah um I give this a B minus uh, like but that's pretty high praise coming from me because as you love to say I'm not fun yeah you don't like fun I don't like fun <laughs> And I actually, I will recommend this. Um, now, going in, if you don't have a high tolerance for this stuff, even like me, you might it might still get a couple of jokes that'll land with you. And I think people who actually do appreciate these kind of movies, it'll be a real hit with yeah, you. Totally. Yeah, this is, you know, because sometimes even bad movies, like people who like bad movies, even some of those are like, oh my God, this is, this is too bad for bad movies. This is one of those kind of hidden gems if you're a fan of this particular type of genre. You don't think something like Shark X. Exorcist. Think was something more like, yeah, no, think more like a fu actually like entertaining movie that had some effort put into it. Exactly. Yeah, and you can tell there's a lot of effort put into. So I really, I, I, I won't want to see it again. But I'm not sorry I saw it the first time. And that's pretty high praise coming from non unfun Jen. So we're almost done, people. Tomorrow we're we will be doing the last movie and a movie that I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts of, and the actual excellent shark movie, The Reef. Yeah, I'm at the, this when I have high expectations, but go, but I'll tell you guys, I had no expectations with this movie. I thought it would be, and especially when I saw the runtime, and like I said, the only thing I would criticize this movie is I wish they would have cut it, even maybe 30 minutes. It, it is a bit long, but other than that, it's a pretty fun movie, and I think a lot of you guys who appreciate this kind of genre will enjoy it. Totally. So do we have anything else to say no, about really Shark? Okay, and with all that out of the way, I'm going to say what I always say, booze and ghouls. As always, we hope you enjoy enjoyed this, and if you did and you haven't hit the subscriber button yet, please hit that subscriber button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Dun 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 dun. Um, sh ah! <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Bye, guys. Or. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> I sat through Shark House for you. Shark House? Shark House. Shark House. Shut up. <laughs>